one of the most important things that has occurred fairly recently in my training and my practice is an understanding that we haven't entirely been correct over the course of these years. What we're seeing is that we've been using medications for mental health issues without actually looking at biochemistry that underlies the basic premise for the utilization of pharmacological entities such as Prozac or um, uh, Wellbutrin or any other medication. Not to say that we don't need those medications, but we do also need to check basic chemistry. What we're seeing is that underlying chemical imbalances can quite literally produce symptoms that ultimately become the formulation or the foundation for entities we call schizophrenia, um, anxiety, depression. Um, not to say that it's any one particular cause, but many different chemical imbalances together lead to symptoms that we often produce uh, the, the constellation umbrella term um, of anxiety or depression. What we would say is that let's look at your chemistry, your biochemistry, test that chemistry, see where the imbalances lie, fix those imbalances, oftentimes basically by putting back what it is that's missing, lacking, or removing what is in excess, and then let's see where the symptoms truly lie so that we can have the appropriate diagnoses. This can be done with medication or without medication. We're not saying you stop taking the medication you're using. What we're saying is that we can improve the therapy by the additional support of biochemical elements that are missing.